Turn to our earlier story about the Supreme Court giving a nod for the probe of uh, former Minister of Transportation, Roti Miyamichi. I have joining me a legal practitioner, Ola Inka, Ola Daniels, for more on that. Well, as it is, the Supreme Court has given a nod that uh, Mr. Roti Miyamichi can be probed. Uh, how will this affect his chances, considering that perception is key in everything? Uh, as I was saying, uh, the provision of constitution is clear. Under section 137, subsection 1i, we state that if, uh, if uh, whoever that is contesting for president, if he has been indicted for embezzlement or fraud by a judicial commission of inquiry or an administrative panel of inquiry or a tribunal set up under the Tribunal of Inquiry Act, a tribunals of inquiry law or any other law by the federal or state government which indicted as be with indictment has been accepted by the federal or state government respectively so now if you look at this if he had attended the inquiry two things have happened is either there's any money but there's an allegation against you now right well, then you face the, uh, I mean, the panel of inquiry. Then there's an, uh, the, you are giving sentiment, uh, sentimental excuses of which hunting because of uh, your presidential aspirant. This was 2015. This whole thing started. But mm. if you have done the necessary things, I don't think we will be here talking about which hunting. So now the the implication of this to APC, if for instance this man is, uh, let's say for instance, he wins the primary. Of the presidential, uh, I mean, candidacy of APC, and in the course of this, the, 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 because the judgment is clear, so he has a case to answer with the inquiries. So, in the course of that, if he's, he is indicted in any way, it means that automatically APC will lose that particular slot for presidency, which means because at that time they would have also failed the time to submit their candidacy to INEC. Mr. And Daniels, what do you th think will happen? So, mm. The best way to go now is Mr. Amechi to go and face the beat as the music. Go and answer the call that you've been called to as we speak. So this may affect him really, as we say, it may affect his presidential, uh, uh, I mean, uh, aspiration. But then, having said that, he has not been found culpable. Yeah, indeed, I was, uh, Mr. Ladan is going to quickly come in. I was going to get to that point that from what you have read, it's if that individual has been indicted, it means that individual has been found guilty. But in this case, we haven't even seen the meat of the matter to know whether or not he's guilty as charged. Yes, he is innocent as we speak. He has not been found culpable or indicted in any way. But now the risk you, we want to take is presenting him let, for instance, he wins the primary. Then he then pays the, because already the Supreme Court has said that you have a case to answer. Then he has to face the panel of inquiry. And in the course of doing that, what if, if it's I mean, found culpable or indicted? And from the way politics is going today, you know, well, I'm not going to say we know what may happen in the end. So I think it's better for the parties, it's better for Mr. Amici to do the needful, and it's better for Mr. I mean, for APC to also look for alternative candidate as again risking this particular, uh, I mean, uh, um, election on on featuring a candidate that maybe yes is not found culpable, is not indicted yet. But how are we sure that this may not turn the other way around? So why can't we just, uh, I mean, play safe and avoid this error mm -hmm. from affecting the party entirely? Right, legal practitioner, Olayin Kaula Daniels. Thank you for sharing.